Good morning, Faith. This is Kay Leslie. Our celebration this week is about Care Portal. Care Portal partners with the Department of Human Services to help with the needs beyond the scope of DHS. This includes foster families and kinship foster placements, families working on reunification, youth in group homes, and mothers escaping domestic violence. DHS does as much as they can, but their resources have been seriously strained by the pandemic. Faith has been a partner with Care Portal since December 2016. In August and the beginning of September, we responded to 24 requests. At the beginning of the pandemic, Faith established a crisis response fund to help people suffering unforeseen financial hardships. Through our partnership with Care Portal, we've been able to help two families maintain housing, receive emergency food assistance, and keep their utilities on. It is a beautiful example of how Care Portal allows us to help where it is needed most. There has also been a request from Stand in the Gap for their program, Life Launch. There is always a steady flow of young adults around the Tulsa area who are needing mentors. Life Launch serves a population of at-risk youth ages 16 to 24. Usually, they reside in transitional living homes or attend alternative schools. Entry into this particular way of Christ-centered service requires a two and a half hour training course that can be completed online. If God nudges you to offer the gift of mentoring, you can contact me at faithcareportal at gmail.com. So let's celebrate Faith's partnership with Care Portal and what we have done in August and the beginning of September. We provided special formula for an at-risk newborn. A grandmother received assistance with her rent, electric bill, and guardianship court fees when she unexpectedly became the kinship foster home for her three grandchildren. A smoke detector and fire extinguisher was given to a family that moved into a new home. A device was provided for a young man who needed a way to listen to calming music while living in a group home. A birthday celebration was made possible for the nine-year-old girl who had to enter the foster care system for the first time. Toddler beds were given to two new foster families. A double stroller was donated to a foster family of a one and two-year-old sibling group. Some black pants were purchased for a young mother starting a new job as she works to regain custody of her child. School supplies, special activity fees, clothing, and cleaning supplies were also provided to fill Care Portal requests. And thanks to Provide the Ride, 17 people were able to travel safely on the Tulsa Transit System with their bus passes. If you would like to be a part of this valuable mission here at Faith, you can email me, Leslie at faithcareportal at gmail.com. You will start receiving emails concerning the needs of children and families in the foster care system here in Tulsa County. Or you can make a contribution to the designated Care Portal Fund or the Crisis Fund on our church website. Just specify which designated fund you would like to give to in the memo box. Have a great week, Faith.